The impasse comes after a summer of negotiations on both sides. The Sacramento City Unified School District says the plan they ultimately came up with came after hearing from the community, but the Teachers Association says they were not heard. We could not in good conscience accept their last proposal. A response from Sacramento City Unified School District Superintendent Jorge Aguilar after the negotiations fell through. Teachers who are part of the Sacramento City Teachers Association say something similar in their response. We can't in good faith use a one size fits all approach. Our kids deserve better than that. Teachers with the union say the district's distance learning plan puts too heavy of a focus on synchronous learning. It is a you must be doing this at this minute for this length of time. And in our plan, our teachers were given the flexibility and given the ability to use their professional judgment to determine what was best, what is best for their students in terms of how they design their classrooms and how they design their lessons. The district says they tried to work with the Sacramento City Teachers Association. Our district compromised in negotiations by lowering the number of instructional minutes to the minimum required by state law. But the loss of those minutes must be made up with quality live instruction versus independent work. Simply increasing time students spend in independent work is not equitable. Teachers say they know what their students need. We need to be trusting our educators to do their jobs and to know that we're the professionals. We have so much expertise behind us. One thing both sides agree on is that come Tuesday, students will be taken care of and teachers will be giving their all.